brought the four wheeler up to get the shredder. 25 degrees, never felt so cold. 2019 left its mark, that's for sure. Friday morning, guys. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're picking our corn test plot and we're pouring some concrete here at my dad's. Not sure which one I'll be doing today, but stay tuned and uh, we'll see you, uh, how the day goes here. About 25 degrees here. I got the tractor warming up. We go pull out some gravity wagons and uh, get ready for the day. We got both wagons here. Not sure if you can see the other one behind me there in the mirror or not, but taking them to the field and then probably just let this tractor sit there until yeah. I had to stop and fuel up first. We are back into the field. Okay, so the field's right up here. Uh, my brother bought one of our smaller wagons over. This field's only about seven or eight acres, I believe. Uh, it's gonna take a while because they're bringing a test wagon or whatever, so they're gonna have to stop every three or six rows and test the weight on the combine and then empty the test wagon or whatever into these wagons. And now we're back to getting ready to pour concrete. They got the uh, test plot all picked yesterday. The combine is just sitting in the field there. I'm probably going to go out and shred stocks in that field once I get done hauling this load of manure here. shed you got the 77 plugged in it's on the stock shredder I go out across the road and shred some stocks here all right we got it started barely let it warm up here for a little bit so this 7700 is the uh, tractor that you've seen on a it was on the merger in one of my other videos. Uh, we used it to plant corn, and that's really about it. Between planting corn, the stock shredder, and the merger, this tractor stays pretty busy. We got the uh, narrow tires on it, so that's why we use it for all those uh, implements. here in the second field. I got the first one done, the test spot that we picked yesterday. Uh, this field out here is actually a uh, field that we uh, chopped some snaplage in probably about three or four weeks ago. So there's, we got a lot of snow and rain like off and on. We seem like every two or three days so we couldn't really get these made right away. So they're not going to be the best stocks but uh, pretty much take what you can get this year. We uh, have some heifers over here on this grassy hay field. Uh, this field's going to get plowed up next year, so we uh, figured we'd let the heifers out there for uh, a little bit. Grazing in late November. One thing that I should have mentioned earlier in this video is uh, when we shred these stocks, we're putting them right in a windrow. 
So what that will do is, uh, well this way we won't have to uh, run a rake across it and drag all that extra uh, mud and dirt into the windrow. We always figure we're better off to uh, put it in a windrow and wait an extra day for it to dry out, extra day or two. And then we'll uh, come through with the baler and just bale them up so we won't have to rake it this way. Yeah, you, look, you leave a little extra stalks in the field, but uh, I guess, the, uh, I don't know, we'd, we'd rather just uh, do it this way and not have to deal with all the extra wear and tear on the uh, equipment. It's good to leave some uh, stalks behind to build up the organic matter in the uh, soil here. We do have the option to uh, take those guards off in the back and uh, put those up so we want to have the wind roller. We've done that before, but the majority of the time we just put it in a windrow and bale it like this. This spring I got the uh our big tractor and our disc stuck about right here. I think Travis almost got the planter stuck there too, but the ground's a little froze now, so that's uh, really good because now I don't have to worry about it. So we kind of got a wet spot here. There's a lot of ruts. So I'm going to go right around it and kind of take it around at an angle. Get as much as we can, but not go through that. So that's what I'm doing here. If you're wondering. And so since we're organic, this is uh, obviously cultivated corn. If you're not familiar, uh, we have to cultivate it. So that's why it's so bumpy and I'm bouncing around a lot here. too big of a deal since I was uh, back here at the uh, bottom of the field anyways. Got that field done and there's another field over here on the other side, left side of these trees. It's kind of a circle field. I got that done also. Uh, I got one more field across the road to do. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do it. It's uh, above freezing now and with the sun it's getting a little greasy out here on top of the ground. So I just got a little bit of mud sticking to my tires, but we'll try it out and see how it is. from a uh, short course that I went to school with up in UW Madison Case Hope and uh, was the closest to 6,000 and 3,000. So that's gonna do it for this video. I just backed the tractor in the shed here. Uh, if you like this video be sure to give it the thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel so you can see my future videos. Hoping to get one of us uh, baling those fields that we were just shredding and uh, picking up bales there. Take care and have a great day. I was just making sure you guys watch the full video. If you uh, watch the full video Drop me a comment down below and say shredding. Thanks guys, take care. Got it a little muddy. Maybe I should have quit about 10 minutes sooner. Oops.